to my world Won't you come on in det er Stig Ulriksen, og welcome to my world. I denne uge har jeg fået besøg af en sangerinde. Hun har taget vejen helt nede fra Tjekkiet af. Hun spiller med i flere forskellige bands. Blandt andet Nonstop, som vi skal opleve her på Randers Country Festival den 29. juni. Her er hun forsanger. Hun synger også størstedelen af sangene måske i det band, der hedder Western Girls. Og det skal vi også tale lidt om, specielt da to af pigerne, der oprindeligt er tjekkere, bor her i Randers. Men i første omgang lad os tage en snak med Wendy og kalde de andre ind undervejs. Wendy, welcome to Denmark and Randers. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Uh, last year, uh, you also were part of the country festival here in Randers, but that was with another band. What is that band uh, named? Well, yeah, this is the Western Girls, and those are the girls that we have just been friends for a long time from back from our country sisters' times, and just like me, the other girls had to decide to quit because of the family having children going to school and so on but uh, probably the same with me they miss the music so we get together once or twice a year uh, to just make sure we didn't forget the kick <laughs> let's invite one of them into the studio also okay i'll be happy to I first produced my pistols, then produced my rapier. I said and stand there, or the liver, or the devil, he may take you. My shirin, dama do dama down. Walk for my daddy o, walk for my daddy o. There's whiskey in the gyro. And it was a pretty penny I took all of his money And I brought it home to Molly She swore that she loved me Never would she leave me By the devil take that woman Cause she knew she'd treat me easy My shirin down the do down down Walk for my daddy oh Walk for my daddy oh That's whiskey in the gyro And uh, Lucy, welcome. And uh, we just talked about Western girls. And you two known each other for how many years? No, long time. Long 2004, time. 15 years. 15? Yes. It's almost a whole life, right? Almost. Oh, somebody. <laughs> no, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start playing in countries the same year, or when did you start uh, with? No, I start a little bit early. I think it was 2002. So you already played in countries this when yes. Wendy came? Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. And she still played after I left. <laughs> okay. So Wendy wasn't was easy to get it off me. So, so the case of it is just, uh, how, how did you uh, get along with Wendy when she came in as the new girl in the band? Well, we were thinking that she was very charming, <laughs> very beautiful, had blue eyes, and she has an amazing voice when she was singing. So it was just an amazing combination. And she was also, became a very good friend of us. She was very good to tell the stories, so we were very amazed about everything she was telling to us. It was very, 
I was amazed. So, like, <laughs> Yes. I was amazed they believed me. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. <laughs> we still do because we are still together. <laughs> so you had some good years together in the country sisters and was that the reason for you go to go together again and make a uh, western girls? Yeah. One yeah. of the reasons maybe yeah. like I mentioned one of the reasons was to to get back to do the music but because we were not able to do it uh, on a regular basis then we all agreed why don't we make few numbers a year and uh, that feels comfortable enough and why don't we make it together since we know each other and uh, we get along so well we know each other so well you are not going into unknown waters anymore no <laughs> so it made sense yeah. Yeah, that's the same for me. Um, after I left from the band, I was actually missing girls. And it's for me, it's 10 years now. And we were still in contact in the time, met sometimes. And it was always, always amazing to see each other again. And I was thinking like, I miss this good time. And uh, why don't to try it again? So the main reason for Western Girls is to come together have a good time together while yes, you're doing the shows exactly. and also before and after the shows. Is that the main yes, thing? Yes, I would say it's uh, for us it's not about to have a, how many concerts we have, but it's about to have a nice time, good experiences, good concerts. Yes. Also coming back to Denmark is very warming for me because we still, uh, after 10 years, we still do meet people that remember us and they love to see us again and they come to our concerts and that's also very very encouraging to not to quit <laughs> yeah so you can meet the people who love the music you do and love to come to your concerts but you also started to do concerts other places you mentioned earlier uh, there was a place that had a special place in your heart and that was in switzerland in Slagen, where you're actually going to do a concert uh, this year and yeah. um, so you're probably also going to travel around to visit some other countries if there's anybody who wants to hear you. Yeah, we were very surprised that <laughs> all the way from Switzerland somebody would come up and invite us to that. That's uh, very exciting. We know Interlaken, we know Swiss fans and we, we know country music is popular in, in there. So it's exciting to go back. And regarding the uh, repertoire, have you made some new songs in your repertoire also? Is it the old classic we talked about before, Donny Parson? Well, you cannot just miss those classics. I, uh, I don't know any country band that would not play the Evergreens. It's a must. You know, people would hate you if you just <laughs> started doing uh, only whatever you feel and you. But we do love the classics. But besides the cla those classics, and I think maybe it's mostly Linda's fault. We've been uh, we've been um, getting towards the Irish music direction a little bit too. So we've uh, enriched our repertoire uh, of about uh, some of the Irish music as well and uh, some rock and rolls but mainly mainly the irish is becoming a very hot deal in the western girls and can you feel any now you you four girls been playing together maybe at the same time in country sisters as far as i know yep. and now you're together again 10 12 years later or something like that can you feel the difference from back then you played together and now no <laughs> No, I don't see any difference. <laughs> uh, I think each one of us has made their own journey. I can see big difference on all of us. You know, some of us, some of the girls became very good singers. Linda's made a big improvement with her fiddle. Uh, she's been playing more Irish music. She's been even uh, performing with a Hispanic bands so she she brought a lot of new experience to uh, the western girls um, i've did some of my of my own music i think that also moved us somewhere else and for example eileen she's the youngest one so she is she younger than linda 
Yes, she is actually. She is okay. Yeah. Don't want to make any faux pas here. <laughs> they are so young that it doesn't matter. You feel like the old ladies in the band of what? I, well, I am <laughs> 10 years older than the youngest one. It's a big difference. I don't feel that difference though, but it's true. Anyway, Eileen, she's just the son of the band. She's so modern. She's just so beautiful. She's so vulnerable and she gets that popish face and sparkle in her so i think it's perfect combination of the four women lucy she's just this native indian girl and she's just the top of the show so i like that combination and, and wendy what is she well i would say it wendy is a real country lady there's no other way to say it. She's really a lady on the stage. With her charm, with her singing, she can just stand and sing. She's just shining because the way how she is, her personality. I think um, I still remember um, many old fans, they still today say that she was number one for them because of her charm on the stage. Never heard today, of that. <laughs> you, I did many times. <laughs> oh, really? Now it starts to get color in cheek. <laughs> yeah, finally I got a color. <laughs> Jeez, uh, I wish uh, I knew that. Uh, but now you know it when you get around. No. And then you can hope still to be number one in the band. <laughs> but uh, before we invite the other two girls in uh, the studio, uh, what is your background, Lucy? Where did you start at uh, getting your interest in music? Well, that's um, quite many, many years ago. I started play because my father was uh, playing on the guitar home. And his brother was actually playing in a well-known band in the city I was living. So I think I had the music in my jeans. So I started playing myself when I was five, six years old. And then later I went to guitar school. And I started to also write my own songs and traveling around with my own songs. And later I started to play with Bluegrass Band. And when I was 17, I got actually once for the first time offered to play with Country Sisters. It didn't succeed in the time. <laughs> But then later, when I was 19, I, I, they asked me if I would try to learn to play electric guitar. Well, I didn't know how to do it, and my parents could not buy such a guitar to me. But um, like, you know, there was a teacher in a school, he was thinking, that's amazing. So he borrowed me his guitar, and I learned to play somehow. And when I came, they said, yes, that sounds okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it started. So I would say that was my background that way. Yeah. And how many years did you perform in countries before you left? I was nearly 10 years. So double as much as you went in. I am uh, a green one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you were decided to leave the band also for getting family and things like that. And then you yes. missed music. Is that the story similar to Wendy? She found non-stop and later Western girls. Well, let me ask you, Stig, about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play music. <laughs> now, of course, I, I, I miss music, but um, I, um, I have a duo with Aileen, who is another girl from Western Girls. I, we have a duo here together in Denmark, so we play rock, pop, country, some kind of mix. We are show band, I would say. So we play together. But to have a Western girls together, all my most favorite girls, that's a feeling I even cannot describe. That's just amazing. I think it's time for hear what the other two girls would say about I that. I hope there is a and now, <laughs> now we can finally hear the truth. <laughs> Before you ask them, I, there's a last thing I want to mention. What I like about Western girls, we don't have a boss. There's not num there's no number one, number two, or three or four in between us. And we don't need that. Sometimes it's necessary. But because we've known each other for so long, and I, I would say we all can call ourselves professionals. It's, uh, it's fun to agree on things together. And it just kind of goes with the flow. And that's fun.
Ja, og så har vi fået skiftet lidt rundt her i studiet. Wendy er gået ud, og det samme er Lucy. De er blevet startet af to andre piger fra Western Girls, nemlig Alena og Linda. Welcome in the studio, replacing the two other girls from Western Girls. Yeah, thanks for having us. Ja. Yeah. How is it to find together again in the Western Girls after many years apart? Yeah, it's actually really nice because we are really good friends. Uh, so we already enjoyed the time before, so we really, we really enjoying the time to be together again because we had, we have, we had really good memories, so it was, it was really good fun. And Linda, you shouldn't look a little bit on Alina and thinking, is it fun to be in the Western Girls again after being apart from Alina and Lucy for so many years? Answer it. No, proč? Odpověď, no, jasně. jasně. No, protože je hezký pohled, jak se zase vidět. Okay. And I think actually we need a little bit translation here, because I don't understand it, and I'm sure the viewers also do not understand it. So what was it Linda was saying to yeah, us? Yeah, Linda just thinks so that it's really nice to be together again. And has she been missing uh, being a part of the girls uh, from her old days in the country sisters? Uh, určitě. Poněvadž holky se přestěhovaly uh, se do Dánska a uh, ostatní uh, kolegyně uh, bydlí úplně jinde v Čechách než já, já bydlím uh, v hlavním městě Praha, takže uh, se určitě nevidíme každý den. Hmm. A je to opravdu těžké se sejít, protože každý má svoji, uh, aktuálně svoje práce, svoje činnosti a svůj život, takže je to hezký. Hmm. Linda thinks and she's saying that for sure that she she was missing us because uh, we went apart we moved uh, me and Lucy we moved to Denmark she self lives in Prague and uh, Wendy also in Krostava close to the Liberates in Czech Republic so but we were actually visiting each other so there wasn't a trouble because we were in touch all the time but uh, she also said that today we have our own lives and our own jobs and interests so Yeah, that's pretty much of that. And Alina, uh, you also moved uh, to Denmark actually, and uh, Lucy that's told right. a little bit uh, while ago at that you and her playing together as Alina and Lucy also. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that idea? It was actually Lucy's idea, so uh, Alina, let's try to make a duo so we can continue uh, with music again because that's uh, Lucy's passion. She loves music, she loves to do, she loves to play guitar, she lo loves performing. So, and I thought it's, I was missing it that much as well because I was used to, since I was a kid, um, show myself and uh, make music, entertain people just that the people will have fun and uh, so I was also writing my own songs so 
that was part of me, that, that was part of Lucy. So I think it was a really good idea. So we said, let's try something like that and let's see how it goes. And then you later decided to bring two other girls into the band and become a second band called Western Girls. But before we talk more about that, because Lucy mm. and Wendy has already told a little bit about Western Girls, uh, what is your musical history? How did you start out playing? You talked a little bit about it here. It's uh, really many years ago. Actually, my start was because like a kid I was trying to find myself a little bit because my father he's more to the sport he's a runner or um, he's really good and everything and my mom she was more into the cos cosmetologist things or makeup things like that and she has tried uh, singing but uh, she was false all the time so nobody wanted to sing with her but she loves she loves she loves singing so I didn't know where I got it from because it was maybe some in the family in the back in the past whatever but um, um, yes uh, I think when uh, I started to do a little bit find myself because I was put to many different uh, classes like a drawing classes or I was also trying self basketball because my father plays so but I wasn't good at it at all and I hate when um, the coach it's uh, really strict to you and saying to you what you have to do I have my own head and I don't like when the people telling me and talk to me that way I know that in the in like at a sport it's pretty normal you know but I was just a kid and I didn't understood these things and I just had my own world you know and then my friend she started to go uh, she started to, she had started some classes with a guitar so I had tried it too and it catch me just like that and I was so happy to continue so I started with guitar and then some years after I just started with the bands with the country sister band yes exactly and how many years did you play with them I have been with Country Sisters uh, since 2007 until 2000, 2014, so it's like a little bit over seven and a half years actually. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty long time. your story Linda have you always been playing the violin since you were a little child? Ano, yes. Už od sedmi let. Uh, určitě uh, rodiče mě přihlásili uh, v sedmi letech do hudební školy, kde jsem se naučila hrát na husle. Proč zrovna housle? Protože už jako malá ve čtyřech letech, kdy táta hrál se svou kapelou, tak tam měli houslistu a do těch houslí jsem se zamilovala. Mm -hmm. Takže uh, Takže mě v kvůli to mě mě vlastně přihlásil mm -hmm. na ty housle. Yes, uh, Lena says that uh, she's saying that uh, she start she has started since she was a seven years old. So um, she started at a music school to start to learn um, violin, and it's because of her father. He's uh, also a musician. 
So Linda, she was into the music since she was four years old, actually. Když ti bylo čtyři, tak si vlastně s taťka byl hra muzikant, viď? Ano, ale on nehrál na ty housle. Já jsem viděl v jeho kapele houslistů. Yeah. But he wasn't playing, her father, he wasn't playing self a violin. Okay. But uh, uh, Linda, she saw his band and there was a guy who was playing a violin. And that attract her, like a, the instrument. V jedenácti letech a můj táta založil první kapelu, která se jmenovala po mně, Linda Band. Yeah, when she when she was 11 or 11 years old, so they uh, made a band together. They create a band together with her father, and it was called Linda Band. Linda Band, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And when did uh, you join the uh, Country Sisters? V šestnácti letech. To bylo v roce 2004. A byla jsem tam 8 let. When she was 16 years old in 2004, 2004, mm -hmm. and she has been there how many years? Eight. Eight years. You actually been traveling a lot during the years with country sisters all around the world. That's what Wendy told us a little bit earlier. But uh, now again with Western girls, you start touring again Switzerland and other countries. How is it to be back on the road? It's actually fantastic. It's it's uh, it's great. We love it. We're back with the full power, and we're just looking forward what we're going to do tomorrow because it's going to be crazy. Uh, we really love to play and be together again. So of course it will take a time before we will be there where we want to be, because we has had started not some some time ago, but uh, I think it's going to be really nice to play and perform together again and for sure we got also some other personal fans and people and friends who are following us and who's uh, waiting for when we will just post some concert on facebook or instagram so they can come and watch our concert so that's we're really looking forward to uh, say to the people hi we are here again and we're back and it's no trouble that two girls live here in Ranas and uh, two other girls live in Czech Republic. Yeah. That's not make problems for the traveling. Yeah, actually it's some kind of funny because um, today it's a no problem because you have computer. It's no problem to call. It's no problem to go face, face on face call or something like that. So some of the sound check we making through this uh, social media or something like that or few through phones or something like that. But. Um, um, we're in touch all the time. We're on the phone when we need to be. So I think I think it's fine. And we're having a sound check when we're seeing it at each other. So, but we have we're really good to. We kind of feeling the same things because uh, we are we have the same vibes. So we understand each other. We w we know what what we want, what we expect from the songs, how we want it. So it's not that difficult when we when we meet up and we when we sit down and we creating some songs or making some songs together because we already know. We just learning our parts and then when we meet, then we will just put it together. Well, that's great that way. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Well, it's nice uh, getting you all into the studio, having yeah, a little talk you with you. Much. And uh, good luck in the future with Western Girls and traveling around. Thank you very much. Thank you. Og det er med noget frem til vejs ende er Welcome to my world i denne her uge. Jeg vil gerne sige tusind tak fordi I kiggede med, og jeg håber at se jer alle sammen tilbage igen i næste uge. Welcome to my world. Won't you come on in?